Hey everybody, Dr. Rafi Wald here. Hope everybody is doing well. Uh, we have spoken in the past about different psychiatric medications. We have spoken about the SSRI and some others. And today I wanted to spend a little time talking to you about antipsychotic medication. So antipsychotic medication were among the first psychiatric medications ever released. The medication Thorazine came out decades ago. The way that these medications work is by blocking the action of dopamine. Dopamine is a very complex chemical in the brain. It's a very complex transmitter that serves a number of different functions. Among those functions include the ability to focus, the ability to feel uh, the feeling of a reward, the ability to feel sort of pleasure and uh, movement are among all of the different things that dopamine does. So that's why antipsychotic medication, the older antipsychotic medications that we call neuroleptics, had a number of different side effects to them. Among them were brain fog, um, weight gain, uh, and a number of other problems that people have had with them. These days we have newer, what we call atypical antipsychotic medications. And the way that these medications are different, they also work against dopamine. They block the action of dopamine but what they also do is they try to make sure that the action that they take is restricted just to dopamine. So they work on a number of other chemicals and try to make sure that they can continue to do what they do so that the side effects that you experience don't spread to other areas, which is why people are much less likely to experience a huge amount of sedation. They're much less likely to have a huge amount of weight gain, and they're much less likely to have the same sort of brain fog that they used to have with other ones. It definitely does happen with these medications, but nowhere near as dramatically with the older neuroleptics. I hope this information is helpful. Looking forward to talking to you all soon, as always. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.